men out here who will get and be selfish you know they just want to take and not give show me why i should want you and you just start with like low level guys that you wouldn't date you think that height matters in a guy yes it does let's see if you have the right to say height matters that whenever we go out people will approach me rather than approach him really down for a walk but if you would like to go to dinner we can the passport broke out i'm a korean woman it's a baby with her hey guys welcome back to more to life before i get into this video i ask that you like comment subscribe also smash that notification bell just to be sure you get on my videos as soon as i release them let's get right into this when the little bit of money he was getting he was using it to like take me out oh hey baby oh, here's a hundred dollars for whatever for gas or something like so i felt really bad leaving him but so but I feel like whoa, even a whoa, guy like that, whoa. that's fake a provider. You get it? Like a nigga that work in Wendy's could be a provider. It don't mean that he's the best provider you're gonna find, but he can still be that when he gets stuff he's giving. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's a trait that's important. Now you see guys see that? The expert, this girl's name is Jasmine Blue, something like that. The expert 304 is teaching a young 304 how to go about dealing with men. <laughs> you can't make this up. And this Expert is pretty much telling her she should have gave him a chance. You know what I said. Let me continue it. And because I feel like there, and it doesn't matter what level, there are men out here who will get and be selfish. You know, they just want to take and not give, or they're just looking for like how it benefits them and not you. And that's kind of whack. So what's well, here's the trick. the trick. What's the trick? Yes, <laughs> because your niggas jail talk you like, oh yeah, you know. So sad this is extremely sad because that's common sense most women would have had a man like that doing what he can and say i like this man that's what a lot of women want what the other guy was doing if he doesn't have do something all right she leaves the guy what happens after that what happens to that guy after that he's damaged now he turns on all he never, he never ever is as nice as he was because he realized he's not dumb. He's going to realize, wait a minute, she left me because I didn't have it. So then he gets it and becomes a monster and he uses it for control. He uses it as his ticket to control a woman. Now she created a monster. And the other three or four told her how she can save it. They just lean each other to the, <clears throat> to the slaughter, man. It's sad. Let's say this to the women watching. Pay attention. Because y'all love taking these men for child support. And number one, then you want to raise, it takes more than money to raise the kid. When he was coming around, he was helping with homework, he was picking the kids up, he was doing everything. Now you put him on child support and he got to work extra. He can't help. So now you're taking away from the bonding time. That's number one. Number two, whatever that court order is in the state of New York, that man doesn't have to do nothing over the court order. No birthdays, no holidays, not Christmas, not back to school, nothing. It's an, it's an option for him. But if you talk to anybody in the court system, he does not. It has to be in the court order. That includes summer camp, everything. Because y'all love taking these men, and then it's like, oh, well, now, how you not going to help with the birthday party? Because, sis, I gave you child support. I gave you child support. Like, we be so gung-ho on child support, and you really went down because your auntie is bitter. Your mama told you to do it. You really wouldn't even think about taking homie for child support. I know somebody who, the homie was on child support, they got back together, and he was like, so when you going to take me over? She was like, I'm not. Message. Yeah, and as she said, you're taking a man for child support, but you're missing out on so much more. There's birthdays. The kid may need back to school clothes. Christmas comes around. You want to get the kid Easter clothes. You can't hit that man up. You know what's funny? If a man's not on child support, and he's there in a child's life, he's actually giving a lot more than what that child support is worth because he's co-parenting with you. But it's sad, man. Women don't want that co-parent. They want to take that money and do whatever they choose with it. Why is that? Because sometimes that four or five hundred a month or six hundred a month or whatever, maybe you know, someone getting a thousand is more than enough to take care of all that.
because if they got a job, it adds into the to, to the bank. It may tend to be more. So a woman would rather that, not realizing the kid is missing out on a dad, and it hurts kids in the long run. But hey, the system got us here now. It's sad, but life must go on. I'll give you a tip. Date guys that you have no interest in at first. Practice with guys you wouldn't even be interested in at all. Just so there's no pressure. Because women, we want to be the chooser, not the chaser. And when you don't have attachment to anything, then you're, you come off as very confident. And that's very sexy and attractive to a man. And you'll get in the habit of being, I'm the chooser, I'm the chooser. Like, I don't even want you. Show me why I should want you. And you just start with like low level guys that you wouldn't date. Making progress. And then you do that like 10 times. When a guy comes that you're interested in and you notice you're like, oh my God, you get a needy and like, no. If I did it with all these guys, they're no different. This guy's no different. You manage it with them, you can manage it with him, you know? Expert three or four tricksters. Man. And they're being taught by all of these women that want to be coaches. And I bet you she she has a fee for a course for $199, right? How to get the man that you want. How to train yourself to get the man you want. It's sad, man. And women are not taking it lightly. They're sitting there with a pen in the pad. Especially like right now, they can see this free on TikTok. The women are like this. You know what they're doing? They're getting someone subscribed and they get a viewer. The second never stops. It is obvious nonsense. Do you think that height matters in a guy? Yes. It does? Let's see if you have the right to say height matters. 160. That's a wrong. Oh, my. Pick me up. No. Yeah. He's definitely not picking you up. Listen, lady. <clears throat> you're 160. That's not a fat well, but you're going, you little topsy turvy, right? 20 more. Woo. And she is overweight. Even though she's not fat, she still is overweight. Stop, stop it. Stop the delusion. Stop the criticism. Bring it down a notch. I feel like one of the biggest things that Deshaun has issue with mm -hmm. is that whenever we go out, people will approach me rather than approach him. And so I tell Deshaun, if you sit there with a face that makes people feel like you're not approachable, mm -hmm. you're not going to be approached. You have to... I have to what? Go in a little bit more open. You, I don't think I go in if any other way. If you feel that way. they're snooty and you walk in feeling like, oh, this place is so snooty I and I'm the only black person here. Like, I, who cares? Be the only black person there. Work, flaunt that. Like, you know, like, who cares? Who cares? Like, why is that an issue for you? Get out! Work, flaunt that. Like, you know, like, who cares? Who cares? Like, why is that an issue for you? Honestly, other than the fact that they are you asking or are you challenging? It's it's an it's a little it's it's a real question. It's a real question. That was challenging. <laughs> it's funny. She's seen a man in her trying to tell another man what to do. That's what she was. She was challenging him. Do this. Do that. Do it now. I see it. Why aren't you doing this? Why aren't you more friendly? Why you got an angry face on? Are you asking or are you challenging? Yes, that's the real question. Yeah. Oh, you can't pay my bills. You can't do that. Like, I just watched the girl bills. kick out her boyfriend because he couldn't pay bills for the last two months. Yeah, but he's been paying the bills for the last four years. She kicked him out so with his kids. Because why couldn't no she do it without the problem? She but that's him because, out with his kids. you know, the reason why is because they never had that open communication to, to, to actually tell somebody. Because I feel like when men come in, they take care of women and they don't even, you taking care of women who don't even know how to save property. You taking care of women who don't even know how to invest. <sighs> and you taking care of women who once you fall short, she don't know how to step up. Like y'all be some, I'm not using the word y'all. Some men take care of the wrong one women. Mm -hmm, y'all mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so traumatized. Who don't know what to do with? Shit. Give me a break. And guess what? When you I'm, fall short, I'm gonna make sure you don't feel like you're short. Cause especially if I'm used I to paying a hundred, you, yeah. you willing to pay thirty percent? That's a little break for me. Maybe I would take that thirty percent for now. You know, we can work you know, our way up. So you, you know said, what? But people, people on here wanna. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't wanna keep saying people. And they're right, right? Now, they're so right. Now, who are they going at? The woman that wanted it all. 
without reason, as she said. And there's guys that are not thinking. They got women that just blow, blow, spin, spin, spin. And we all go through that. Sometimes women are younger and don't understand. But what happens is guys get with women that never grow up. Now, what's what's immature? A woman saying, I want a man to pay this, pay this, pay this. And as the woman said, then turn around and be irresponsible and not be saving any money for anything. And then the woman kicks the guy out the house after he's been paying bills for four years. He didn't pay bills for two months. And that's exactly why. My man Scarface Mark says it all the time. If you provide her, you're a loser. Because she says she's not saving the money. That's real. She's not stacking money. Say, okay, this is for a rainy day. He's paying this. I can save. I can do. She's not doing that. She don't, she can care less. She while you uh, spending money on her bills, she's spending money on clothes, spending more money on hair, spending more money on trips without you. She's taking trips to Jamaica with her girls, which you don't want to do that, but she's probably doing it anyway. And you sitting there like, I keep doing it, baby, and then she leaves you flat out. Once you can't pay anymore. Sad, but it happens all the time. The worst date a guy ever asked me on, he asked me to take a walk. Where? Across a bridge. Um, How old were you? Thank you for asking that question. I was too old. Oh, he said to me, he was like, hey, I'd I like to take, and we can walk the bridge. And I said. Your ass don't even exercise. Thank you. I said, <laughs> I we said, um, I'm not really down for a walk, but if you would like to go to dinner, we can. Of course. I'm always hungry. So you gave an option. Yeah. And what he said? No. He was broke. He was broke. You, you can't. A walk? A walk? A walk? A walk? A walk? A walk? What? Walk? I got nothing to say to that. You ain't got your ducats right, and you want to date in the West? What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? You save that kind of stuff when your ducats is right. So you know what? I want to go on a walk with a woman to see if she really, really wants me and really likes me. I'm going to uproot myself and maybe go to somewhere else where women don't mind walking. A woman is physically fit. You see what I'm saying? No. I don't work out. Thanks for asking. I'm too old. Sad, but true. It's a sad situation, man, in the West. Oh, no, you can't take me out. Take me to dinner. And if you take me to the Cheesecake Factory, I'm never talking to you again. Now, she was no lap. But that Filipino that I wasn't right. Just out there all hanging out like that. That's What are you trying to do? Don't be out here thirst trapping guys. That was a, quite of a thirst trap, though. My man, Jalen Brown. He's won a championship. He walked over Angel Reese, who's a basketball player, and another girl. And I think he, I think he was both of them. And is it rightfully so? I think so. The man won a championship. The man just got a new contract, right? Didn't he, guys? Like a couple hundred mil. For like four years or five years or something, this boy Jason Tatum got one. It's not right. It's immoral. But at the same time, that man can handle too. Because I know Andrew Reeson can pay it in the, in the WNBA. So if she comes across a little bit, you know, feminist. She, of course, that's immoral what she's doing, but she's trying to get that bag. I ain't mad at her. Another brother. He got him a, a passport, bro. Got him a Korean woman. And he has a baby with her. Check that out. That's what we do, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's a little black Korea. That's a little black Korea right there. He done had babies. Another brother settled in across these waters. Yes. Got him a woman. All about him. Not using him for a fetish. And said, you know what? I'm going to have this babies. I'm going to have that passport bro man's babies. Why? Because I love him. Once again, showing. Love has no boundaries. A man can take himself across these waters almost anywhere and find himself a woman that's all about him. And that's the thing. And I'm not telling any guy that you just go across the waters and the first woman you see you talk to is just going to work. She's going to fall into your lap. I'm not saying that. 
because then I'll be lying to you. But I will say this. You work on yourself. You still need to be physically fit. You still need to be a somewhat decent talker. Not the best talker, but you have to know how to talk, right? You have to have some skills about yourself. Not go outside smelling. Know how to dress. Like these, the small things, the minor things you learned when you was a kid, right? You have those things, though, and you have the sense to put it all together. Because if you're traveling, you've got some sense. But if you don't have it, work on that, and you'll be able to go out and find a woman that's for you. And I'm really sure a lot of you got to go out and find that because you'll realize. This is the way. Your passport, bro. Passport. No. It's definitely more to life than doing anything that's not that.